Stacking has been a big part of my life for years and years. Um, it's helped me save money, allowed me to pass down gold and silver to help contribute to my kids' futures. And I have met some amazing people over the years from coin shows to online forums on social media and to you degenerates here on uh, YouTube. So I wanted to share three things I've learned from my stacking journey so far. Let's get to the video. What's going on guys? I'm Stateside. Welcome to my channel. And don't worry, I'm not trying to get you to like and subscribe. But if you have an unhealthy addiction to gold, silver, and numismatics as much as I do, then I promise you're in the right place. And as viewers, you don't get the recognition as you deserve. So I want to say thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my content. Helps me out tremendously. With all that being said, let's roll it. It has been one hell of a journey so far. Um, one I don't plan on stopping anytime soon, but there's things I've learned along the way that I feel are noteworthy to pass on. You can look at these as tips or just general guidance, but it's something I feel like it's just worth hearing. Um, some are popular and one is probably gonna hurt some feelings if, well, you're one of the YouTubers I'm talking about. So number one is that YouTubers are not a, how should we put this? A great source of information. I'll just come right out and be straightforward with that. And um, not all, but you guys know the videos I'm talking about with captions like, silver has never done this before or my local coin shop owner says, we have to stack now because it's the end of the dollar. Or now here's my personal favorite one, which is everything changes for silver in one week. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about those clickbait videos that a lot of YouTubers do, even some of the bigger channels. Um, when I first started stacking, I used YouTube as a research platform and I would get roped into these um, videos uh, not knowing any better. And YouTubers make these because they want to promote their views. Um, but I didn't know any better. I knew absolutely nothing when I started. Um, so I leaned on YouTube. I'd try and piece together word searches that I thought I was looking up and I'd fall into these uh, these videos now like i said don't get me wrong some youtubers out there a good majority of them are very very knowledgeable in what they talk about they've spread a lot of great knowledge and done a lot of good for the gold and silver community so i'm not taking anything away from them i'm just saying be careful so if you are new to stacking please 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 uh take everything youtubers say including myself uh, with a grain of salt and do more research beyond one YouTube video. It's something I wish I would have done. Um, call your local coin shop um, and ask questions. Google also provides great sources for a lot of common questions that have to do with um, silver and gold so that you're not scouring through YouTube. Um, and just being kind of misled or getting your hopes up and then you're seeing the same video that says, silver's never done this before. And then three weeks later, it's the same caption, just a different YouTuber saying the same thing. So my second thing I've learned is don't rush into purchasing the first thing you see. Um, whether this is rounds, coins or bars for either gold or silver. Um, I can't tell you how much money I've saved by taking an extra five minutes to do research on better deals that helped me grow my stack and or junk silver. Um, you know, the, every coin shop I call, I have three in my area, they all have different prices on constitutional silver. Some are 20 times face, some are 21 times face, some are 22 times face. 
It depends on their supply of how much they get. Uh, some rounds are different online. So double check with your local coin shops. Um, check different bullion sites and believe it or not, eBay has some great deals. Or if you're really um, patient, I highly recommend waiting for a coin show because those prices are hard um, to beat. If you've ever been one of those, you know what I'm talking about. If you've never been to a coin show, I highly recommend um, going to one. You don't have to buy anything, but I highly go out, highly recommend going out and checking out the variety and the different prices and making those connections. So something I wish I would have done when I first started stacking was taking the time uh, to do that. So five minutes, people, there's a lot you can research in five minutes to get the most silver out of um, your money when, when you're doing that. And so number three is simple and it's stack what you like. Um, at the end of the day, it is your stack, your silver, uh, the stack you are eventually going to either sell when you get older or retire or pass down. Don't let someone else's opinion sway you away from what you like. Now, I'm really only outspoken about two things. I've done videos about these, and that's only because I believe there's better options, such as people buying fractional silver. You know, I think constitutional silver is a better replacement for that. And then my other thing I speak out about is half ounce gold. <laughs> so personally, I'd rather have two quarter ounce uh, pieces of gold or just save up for a full ounce because those are more liquid. But like I said, you need to buy what you like. These are just my opinions, just like a bunch of other um, YouTubers out out there so if you like one tenth silver rounds then by all means back up the truck and load up on them that is not financial advice <laughs> okay I'm not telling you um, to actually go do this but you know you'll see us youtubers I say us like I'm a big channel um you'll see youtubers just kind of make recommendations it's more of just a guidance thing uh, to kind of open the eyes and let people know that there's more stuff out there. So what do, what have you guys learned from this, the short or the long time you've been stacking? Let me know in the comments. And like always, I hope you got something from this video and I'll see you in the next.